So you want to write undetectable AI content or AI content that sounds human. And you've seen all these views of people saying, here's, here's how to do it, here's how to do it, do this, do that. Well, none of that matters because it's pointless, right? Wanting to write content that's undetectable AI, it's dumb. Or wanting to write content that sounds human or trying to humanize your content is also dumb. Why? Because Google and other search engines, they don't care who or what writes the content. Okay, the only thing they care about is if the content that's being put out is valuable for the end user. If the content you're writing satisfies the user's search intent, then Google doesn't care if it's a dog, a cat, a robot, or a human writing it. They don't care, it doesn't matter. Here's a screenshot from their little blogs saying they don't care. And the truth is that they don't care. As long as it is high quality, they don't care. But still, people even knowing about this, they still think it's, it's a cool thing to do, it's a smart thing to do. No, it's just a waste of time, right? It doesn't make any sense. But they say that, uh, yeah, but AI content is bad, it's not good, it needs to be humanized. The thing is that you gotta understand is that AI content can be bad. But so human-based content, they can be bad. But AI content can be great, and human content can be great as well. So humans can write trash content, so can AI. AI isn't this magic tool, right? AI just amplifies your knowledge for stuff, right? Just like a wrench or like a, a screwdriver, for example, this is a screwdriver, right? They use to tighten up like screws, right? Let's say you're building a table, you wanna screw in the tables of the leg to the top of the table, well, you'll use a screwdriver, right? Or you can just use your hand, right? If you are not very smart, you'll use your hand to tighten up the screws on the table. Or you can just use this tool, right? That does the exact same thing, just way, way faster and much better, right? AI is the same thing. AI is a tool, right? AI is this wrench right here. And you gotta know how to use it, right? If you use the wrench to, uh, I don't know, open up a door, it doesn't work because you need a key. AI is the same thing. If you use AI the wrong way, well, you won't see any SEO results. Your content will be trash and it will not rank on Google, right? But if you know how to use AI, know how to leverage AI, this amazing technology, to actually go out and build proper content, build a proper internal linking structure, right? Optimize your site, well, then you're gonna go a long way, okay? And that's where this little tool comes in called Journalist AI, which is so much more than an AI writer. It's an holistic SEO tool. Let me show you just a couple of things it does. Other than, of course, generating amazing content for your site, right? It does so much more. For example, if I go here to this new feature we just added called Site Optimizer, this is an AI agent, where if you add your site, let's just call this my site, right? Add my site URL, add the language, add the page, let's just do 20 for now. What this AI agent will do is it will go through your site and find issues with it. It will analyze as many pages as you'd like and find issues with your page titles, meta description, meta keywords, canonical URLs, image alt text, internal links, and soon we'll do schema markup, links, and a bunch more stuff like site speed. It's, go, it's gonna go out and find issues with all this stuff, and then it's gonna tell you the fixes and the why it thinks it should fix them some way. Then you can just click a button and it will deploy the fixes automatically. Okay, so this just saves you a ton of time. Again, you can do all this manually, but why would you, can you choose, when you can just use excuse me, AI to do it 10,000 times faster for you, right? Now, give it a go, try it out. I'll go here even to one that I've done before. So I can show you the optimization. So page titles, it, it tells me, listen, hey, your current page title is this one, we suggest you change it to this one, and here's why. The AI gives you the why. It's reasoning behind the scenes, right, as to why it thinks it should change the meta title for so this. If you click apply, right, it'll be automatically applied just like that to your site. You don't have to touch a single thing. Same thing for meta descriptions, image alt text, which I'm sure if you give it a go, you try it out, you'll see that you have a bunch of images without alt text, it's just most people do have it. Internal linking will suggest like from multiple pages on your site, right? If you should link these ones together or these ones. And if you know, right, of course, internal linking is a, a key part of, of, of SEO, okay? So it's very, very important. So we'll suggest it and you can just click apply and it'll do all this automatically. So it's an AI agent. Um, on top of that, it also generates articles. But if you don't wanna use AI, for whichever reason that may be, because maybe you don't like AI, I don't know. But if you don't wanna use AI to generate articles where you can just edit with AI, right? This is all done with AI, by the way, this is all done with AI. The internal links, external links, in-article images, in-article videos, of course, that are also relevant to what the content is about. This is a content about um, audio dealership in Texas, and of course, the video is about audis. But again, if you don't wanna like use AI to write the content, well, you can use AI to edit it. Go here to edit with AI, and something simple as, for example, going into, into a paragraph and just saying, mm, add external links, right? The AI will read through the whole article and find the best places to add external links to. 
boom, there you go. Again, sure, you can do all these manually, but why would you? And you can choose AI to do it for you. Let's say, for example, you don't like this image, or, or uh, let's say the, this one right here. Say, uh, okay, I want you to put it underwater. And the AI will put the same car, same make, same model underwater. Now, I don't have any credits, as you see here, so I'll just play a clip of me doing this. Oh, take this and say, okay, put it underwater. I don't know why you want to do this, but you can. And the AI will take the exact same car, same make, same model, and put it underwater. The possibilities are endless. Boom, there you go. Super cool, right? You can just change so much stuff with AI. You can just select this and say, um, I want to rewrite this as a pirate. I want to simplify, I want to make it long, I want to make it short, I want to make a table. So you can just take this, and if you think your readers will maybe enjoy this better on a, on a table form, well, the, the AI will put this info into a table. Okay, this is super small, that's why the table looks odd. But you get the point, right? You can just do so much with AI. You can even add your own custom prompts, like write this tailored for Audi car lovers, right? Or, for example, sprinkle in the keywords Audi, um, best, or whatever, right? You can sprinkle in your keywords. Again, you can do all these manually, but why would you? You could just use AI, right? And then you can just hit publish, publish, excuse me, excuse me and this will be automatically published to your site. Uh, we publish to all these, right? Blogger, Ghost, Shopify, Squarespace, Wix, Webflow, even custom sites if you want. Of course, WordPress as well. You can even use Zapier. And so it just saves you a ton of time in the publishing. Automatic indexing, uh, also automatic syndicating social media. Um, lead magnets, which I'll play a clip right now of what they do. Super cool for local businesses. Well, not just local businesses, I mean any business, so play the clip. Imagine this is a blog post on my plumbing site about plumbing, right? I can add in the middle of the, in the, middle of the article, or even on my homepage if I want, right? This little uh, widget right here, this little tool, right? that in this case, I made, I made this custom and I'll show you how to make it custom for your business, right? That says, um, get instant quote, right? But first, it, has, it tells me to plug in here a, a, a prompt, right? Uh, it suggests to say, my toilet, my toilet is clogged, how much to charge for it? So let's say, for example, my kitchen pipes broke. How much does your company charge? And so this is an interactive little tool clients or potential clients that come into your site can actually use, right? And then when they click get a some quote, and by the way, you can customize all this, it gives them a reply, right? Thank you for reaching out regarding your broken pipes. Our plumbing company estimates the cost to fix it will issue range between $150 and $400, depending on the exact and depending on the extent of the damage and necessary repairs. Please contact us for a more accurate assessment. So in essence, right, this little tool, you give the, the client, the potential client, gives them an input, clicks get in some quote, and our AI gives you a reply. Now, you'll see here that there's this little box as well right here that prompts them, yes, as to sign up or to get more get more details, right? Yes, send me an email to get more details. So you can have the client put in their email right here and you can change the name of the button to say, um, get quote or get in touch, right? The point of this is to make an interactive in, in make your traffic interact with your business. And this is not only super different from anything else that's, that everyone else is doing out there, but it, it creates this, this, this amazing feeling in the customer because they know what they're in for. There you go, super cool. Page builders, there's a bunch more stuff. You can even convert YouTube videos into, into blog articles. You can generate news articles based on current events, Amazon product reviews. You can just do so much, right? And my point here is that, going back to the very first uh, part of this video is, if you're not using AI because you think it's bad and you're looking for ways to write undetectable AI content, well, don't. It doesn't make any sense. Google itself says it is, they don't care. They only care if the content you're writing is high quality. And by high quality, it means does it satisfy the user's search intent, right? If a user is looking for X, Y, Z, does the content you are providing on your site to them satisfy their search intent? After they click on your site and they read through it, where do they find any value in it? And I guess the best question you can ask is, so just to finish off, if tomorrow Google erased all your content, would anyone miss it? And if the answer is yes, well, you have great content. If it's no, well, it's trash. But again, you can write trash content as a human and as AI. The point here is that you should be leveraging AI to amplify your human efforts because it just saves you a ton of time, right? And also tools like this, right? They connect with your competitors. They give you your competitor keywords. They tell you, hey, listen, produce content based on this because we see your competitor ranking for that. So again, all things that just basically save you a ton of time. So yeah, that's it. And if you're looking for this, I clickbaited you because don't look for this stuff. It's dumb. Doesn't make any sense to just go out there and use AI. And if you want more training like this, you can go to trijulians.com forward slash academy and you get access to 12 months access to this software. So for a full year, 12 months access to all this, right? Included. And also, um, bunch. these are a bunch of results of people using the software and the, and the SEO strategy start inside the academy. So this guy grew aside from 0 to 10K a month in three months. E-commerce source, experience more sales. Timo here owns an agency, impressive rankings using the software. Uh, this guy right here ranking clients in 360 days.
This one at 20K a month local business. This one, 0 to 10K a month in traffic in just um, a couple of weeks. This is for a jewelry company, I think. Uh, there, I mean, there's endless results right here. And also get access to, again, the software for 12 months. Our community, which I'll do one-on-one -on -one, one -on -one weekly calls, a one-on-one -on -one consulting call with you for SEO, seven courses as well, so all this included, plus a exclusive plugin for WordPress. So all this included, a course on how to rank YouTube videos, a course on how to build backlinks, one on rank and rent SEO, one on e-commerce, and detailed step-by-step -step case studies on brands I've evaluated and, and uh, figured out what their SEO strategy was. Again, this is all summed up, summed up here, so if you're gonna take a read, you can just look at it here. But again, in this academy, you get access to a bunch more SEO training, actual tangible SEO training, as well as 12 months access to this software. Give it a go, it should be the first link in the description. Thank you so much, and I'll catch you on the next one.